All right, my name is Jerron Belboda, and this is an audio commentary of DSI Files Unlucky 7. This is my uh, my first full-length audio drama that I had the privilege of sound designing. Uh, my first one was Approaching Shady Lair, which I didn't actually finish, but in many ways I think led to this one, and so I was happy to uh, complete this project so I can say I've sound designed a full-length audio drama and by full-length I mean about 30 minutes or maybe 40 45 minutes tops I think this one is 40 minutes long um, but yeah g uh, going into the project I have to say I didn't actually get this one too much as some of the references but that's okay um, the writer got it and I was able to get the dialogue paced right and I don't think anyone listening to the final would have any idea that I didn't get all of the references or anything like that okay so here we go in the future there are secret groups of believers sanctioned by the church to investigate right, so this is my introduction and spiritual occurrences. I sort of um, they stand on the line I guess I was going for a British guy that's been in the US the for a long time <laughs> They are and the uh, Department of Spiritual it's kind of modified with his accent the there. DSI. So. This, this is a really nice piece I actually found from uh, I don't I don't know if I've mentioned this but I use Kevin McLeod music because it's awesome and uh, he lets you use it uh, creative uh, Creative Commons license and uh, Okay, so here we have the first scene. The Nondons were stationed around the perimeter, but the Demonoid came in regardless. Really? Some of those non-denominationalists carry pretty heavy ordnance. <laughs> non-denominationalists. <laughs> I like that. That's that's let's let's add that to Webster's. <laughs> yeah, you can run into things like that. But these, these are basically this is supposed to be inside of a monastery, and. Uh, Monasteries are usually pretty quiet, so I use this sort of um, I would like to hear chant about your type, mutation or theory. Mm -hmm, you know, kind of Gregorian, I guess. Salve. Grace to you, brother. I am Deacon Officer Homer. Can I be even like That's kind of a uh, Latin brother. I have just sort of from the vibe to it. Can you direct me to and they use Latin a lot. You will find him down so, the I guess typical monastery. Left. Um, I heard there was a new transfer coming down here. Would that be you? If there uh, is it's Homer, and that's actually me. Um, when I got the files from the I producer, I, I noticed that they were missing all the lines for that character, so I just, you know, decided I would. Talk about transferring down here. Unusual. But all things work yeah. in accordance to him. Yeah, so that was my attempt at a British monk. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had my stuff there, so I decided I'd just do it. So Then that monastery ambience there. That vibe. Alright. First door on the left. This should be the, the office. office. Gotta love that guy. Period. Apostolic Agent Valhalla, S. Lokai, reporting to Prelate Stormfeather. So this is the office with the uh, Prelate, who's uh, a Native Lokai. American, it is Stormfeather. Good to meet you. Please, have a seat. Look, he's, he's very, very kind I can gentleman. see why Prelate Dayton was reluctant to transfer you. So this is, game, like I said, the chief's office, we'll and at that time I didn't have too many sound effects on my own, so, well, I did, but I didn't have, like, a lot of ambience sound effects and to get the, Church am I saying that right, ambience, ambience, with techno uh, thrown in for good measure. anyway, I didn't have the right you background noise there, so I asked Pater to, yes, Agent Church. Let me introduce you. Um, who's Tony our Church, producer to agent of DSI throw that in for me? Meet Bahala and Lekane, he did, and I think it came out pretty good. Agent of DSI Orbital. Church, I have heard your name before. Hmm. I doubt it. I the thing about Lakai is, uh, <laughs> you're probably thinking I'd, of Josiah Church. I, um, no relation. 
He was in the news for a he, while, claiming he generally when you get lines from your actors, you want to get a lot of. When doing this, we we get the lines separately. They're all recorded separately, and then we have to mix them together. So it's always nice to have a lot of different takes um, to choose from, so you can get different inflections. And has the chief blessed you with the new guy speech yet? Don't believe him. He was supposed to go for kind of like a Spock sort of. Demon possessions, hell feel, leads, hauntings, um, emotionless and edgy, and, um, and that's kind of what he came out with is what you hear. Seems to encounter a lot of the messy stuff. I like that. Let's see. Wait a moment. So I was going to ask you <laughs> got you transferred down to the mud. Bowl, yeah, no, uh, like no offense to the guy, here. and I don't want to downplay his enthusiasm or his skills in any way, but he, he did give me a lot of takes, and that was. Um, pretty thankful Closer for, but um, they were almost always exactly the same wanted to come down here. You know, each take, so. An explanation. Um, but we worked with it, and Agent you know, I got investigating a similar set something of that's, up on the you know, I think, I think it's pretty listenable, too. That seemed to dry up until about a month ago, when the same type of crime started happening down here. So you think you're going to um, chase Church, this guy talking now, he he had um, flames until you catch him, like Ahab said. pretty good inflection. Oh, um, he only oh, sent yes. one take of each line, though, or uh, that's what I received. I can't it's say for sure, because this project had been through, I think, two or three directors before me, and uh, for some reason they weren't able to finish. He had deacons under his direction. A lot of them were called home during that investigation. Their deaths might have been avoided if not for Agent Claudette's sin of pride, thinking he could go it alone. Sutek was almost reanimated this by the This is another part I don't get. Parts I don't by what Sutek is. Another set of experienced eyes investigating that case might have caught the sign sooner. Well, the Cardinal apparently agrees with you. You will be working the case together. Together? Yes. Did you think I would yeah, I know, it's, it's probably not case. good no. to admit that I, you well, you know, confession's good for the soul. I earn the reputation, so <laughs> the fact that I have no idea what he just said this has a <laughs> about C-Tech resolution with the two of you Jack the Ripper, you know, now, Agent Lakai's that's all. Now, files have all been downloaded to our data engine. You two take some time to confer, and then proceed with your investigation. That is all, Apostolates. Take his blessings and wisdom with you on your travels, and may the scales be lifted from your eyes. Exeunt. Gratius, I go. <laughs> Exeunt. That means get Thanks out. Patience, <laughs> Although he said it politely, so. That there, I just added that transition sound so you can know we switch scenes. Feather. An interesting name. And a what little background on Stormfeather. I gather he is of Native American descent. That's why we call him Chief. <coughs> His cultural background has been very helpful to us. There are many here with unique backgrounds, including yours. I remember why your name is familiar. I have heard that you once fought a squad of humankind alongside an angel. So a here's where we start getting into the fantasy elements of the story again, which that's true. I, um, I'd rather I really don't have any reference to them, but it's, you know, it's, it works for the story. But obviously you were victorious. That depends on your definition. Uh, all right. Uh, why don't you pick a pew and let's get started. This one. Pretty high tech monks, huh? Are you familiar with how to operate one of these? So they have, does not appear, I think, touch, touch sensitive, touch, touch screens. They have touch screens. And they have a hood over the screen. I guess that's to prevent glare and. Yes, we don't have maybe, down here. maybe they Let's have uh, really bright access. lights and they don't computer. want the thing. Standard oh, I, I like the computer. Recognition <laughs> activation. De novo. Awaiting voice sample full access activation. You know, it's pretty interesting. Computers don't really make sounds like that when you're operating them, but for some reason in sci-fi and, well, even in regular stuff, we have to give them all these, these sounds like, you know, they <laughs> but it, it, it just makes it more believable. Let's get to work. 
and you kind of have to do more of them when it's audio, so... If I had to do it again, I'd probably go a little more subtle, because these are some pretty loud sounds. Maybe more like uh, well, what's coming up here, I think. Yeah, sounds like that. That's a little better. Loss of life is always high with no just kind of when, when you want to emphasize something it depends on what you're doing but in something like this I think I needed about uh, one and a half to five and I went for about a ten but it was my first time possibility is a one-man job I had the same thought but look at the distances and randomness how could one man travel so quickly between orbital states? That fact would indicate that there is more than one person. However, I found something in the media footage that is interesting. Mm, now the intriguing one man in the crowd that appears in each site. And this is kind of like a, I guess the. I've seen him in our media as mystery a thriller, as well. sort same of thing. face, same clothes, a clone. Does that qualify as one man? There is something else that is. Of course, it is called DSI files, so this is like, I guess, CSI. He isn't looking at the destruction as a normal observer would. He is always looking into the camera. Every camera, no matter where the shot is coming from. How's that possible? I don't know too much about CSI so other than the name, so that's like probably why right I don't get you, some of it. Or into you. Discernment. A rare gift. However, I think this was another scene I asked for some background ambience in because be I didn't have any of those effects on hand at the time. Not in humans in any case. Who said he was human? That's one of the things we'll have to investigate. We need to talk to witnesses. Maybe someone noticed something prior to the destruction. Let's go. Computer, log off. Another nice scene transition there. Now this is inside of what's supposed to be a hover, 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 hover car, and so I just thought, well, you know, they're they're spiritual guys. They'd probably be listening to a, a good um, Christian song. So this is "How Deep the Father's Love," uh, produced by Carlton Forrester, and he's actually playing the piano there. It's a great arrangement. If you um, want to find it, I guess you can just search on YouTube Carlton Forrester and "How Deep the Father's Love." So, and then, of course, put in effects so you know it's on speakers and not part of the soundtrack. And actually, okay, now that's switched perspectives back outside the car and just powered down. And, um, yeah, there are the electronic doors. And I thought it would be cool to kind of have the radio on for a little bit and then they silence it and lock the car and everything powers down. This is the site of the last church's so, collapse. This Notice is supposed to be in, a, like, the the ghetto I guess of the city and um, I actually recorded some custom so I did some foley for the footsteps I took some sand and some water and <laughs> um, spread it out on the, the uh, cement in front of my garage at home and I just walked around on it performed different footsteps and different motions like you know during conversation you kind of move a little bit so I did stuff like that and uh, uh, one of the some of the feedback I got on it was it, it sounds kind of wet, but uh, you know why? Because there's there's no real reason for it to be so wet. Um, no other sound sonic reason that is. So I added some uh, some rain, which and a little bit of thunder. I also thought there should be some traffic, and since we have hover cars, I decided, well, the traffic is probably airborne, so I used a little bit of airplane there, and might have used a helicopter. Some miscellaneous other stuff. So. Hey, you guys more detectives come to look at what happened here? Do you know anything yeah, about what happened? Were you a member, a member of the church? A member there. Please. That was Papa Salvation's church. It was all about feeding his pockets, not worshiping God. Just did like a pretty good job sounding How disinterested, can you I think. say that if you were not one of the members? Do you see that sweet ride over there? That was Papa Salvation's car. 
The rest of the cars belong to his congregation. You can tell me why a pastor has a ride like that in a neighborhood like this. The cars have been there since the accident. Nobody will touch them. Nobody wants to bring the wrath of God down on their heads. Everybody knows that place was a front for drug trafficking. Not there anything you want to hear about God your local church. Are you saying that the people that live here had a reason to want this church destroyed? That church is just a building. It's the people inside it that are the problem. But everyone that was down with Papa Sal's was in the church when it collapsed. Do you think they deserved what happened to them? No, that's not for me to say, is it? Well, he's Take a look at this forgiving. picture, please. That's Do you good. see anybody that shouldn't be there? Can you point out anyone Sorry, that is out of place or a stranger so. to the neighborhood? I thought neighborhood? this was interesting. Yeah, everyone in this picture lives around here. Really? This person yeah, here lives in the neighborhood? The observer can't be seen by most telephone. people, except Either just way, the, the living investigators. Here. So. Living here since I was a kid. And not them. The man between them. I don't see anyone between them. If you are afraid... So I thought it'd be cool for Lakai to step closer to him at this point, so I had that, that kind of conversational foot shuffle as he step, takes really a step closer. I think it's interesting that he's, he seems pretty suspicious of this guy, that he must be hiding something, but... Man, I'm not afraid of anyone. I know Jesus is my protector and my salvation. Um, I guess that that's part of what helped move this story Thanks along, so it's a mystery with sort of thing. Can you tell us where so. Ms. Mary and Ms. Tulliver live? Sure. See that reinforced brownstone a block over? Uh, they live there now. It's uh, an elderly home, the Green Meadows house. You guys have a blessed day. He is protecting the observer. He is protecting the observer. Wow. Why do you say that? Because it's the been church a while was a front still, for illegal activity, um, and its destruction did a service do to a the pretty neighborhood. Good impression of him. Let's talk to the ladies before we make presumptions uh, like that. So we have another. What were the churches that were destroyed on the orbital states like? Did they have money? Were they it's mega churches? Do you think that is the connection? This church was not large. But it did have money going through it. Maybe this is nothing more than some kind of shakedown or vendetta. I want to hear what the ladies have this to tell This time us. I decided music would be a good transition um, to this retirement home, which is actually pretty high-tech. There's ladies, uh, holographic you scenery and oh, it's our place. can hear the... Yeah, the, the birds. So envious of us. Yes, two good looking young gentlemen callers. They will be so jealous. Outside of family, we don't have any other visitors. It gets to be a bit depressing sometimes. We know we've been put in here to be out of the way and forgotten. Are you being treated well here? Oh, yes. We have the hollow scenery to break the visual monotony. Today is Woodland Wednesday. Yeah, so um, for TV this, I used, um, nice I just had the, the, the bird sounds at first, because I thought, well, it's going to sound pretty real, but the fact that you can't see anything kind of has a, um, the fact that you can't see anything means you have to make it more um, visual in the minds of the people, so it kind of put like a radio effect I think and then I also had to have the sound of you know the holographic projector thing so I actually used a, a heavily processed computer fan to get the holographic projector sound yes the poor people that lost their lives if it wasn't an accident then then no no matter what they've done God loves them as much as he loves any of us Am I correct in guessing that you ladies pretty much know everyone in the neighborhood and would be able to identify someone for us? Yeah, here's I, I think maybe we could do that. Can you tell us who the people are in this photo? Oh, yes. You know, ev yeah. Even though everything is pretty high-tech in this story, I decided to have him have an actual paper instead of, you know, like an iPad because then you have to figure out, well, what sounds does an iPad make? And I guess it's not too bad. You would just go and add extra random pointless sounds like yeah. like I did That's for the computer Taya, but Lynn, um George <laughs> Alicia and Valerie to the right of me behind us is Mickey Penny I was gonna say I, I, I like Dave, the heart Stan, that's brought to it by the the Tico, older ladies Amy Ted Chuck you can tell Dana, what's more what's Nick, important to them is the people Penny, that that are around them Ooh, the, 
um, she knows all the names, you know, of the people. So that just made me think of how you consider people more important as you get older, um, usually. Thank you again, ladies. It has been a pleasure talking with you. You're welcome, dear. Come back and see us. It would be good if we could see that now rather than at retirement home age. I'll try, ladies. Goodbye and God bless you. Let's go. And another one of my lovely transitions. No, I don't be so quick to judge, Agent Lakai. There, there really is no. Um, Excuse me, sir. Do you see the man in this picture no, um, between the two elderly ladies? Is this some one way to do transitions? I just decided to kind of switch it up and do that. Uh, no, sir. It's not. Uh, sorry to bother you. And the gang scene. Hey, yo. What you doing in the hood, man? Y'all ain't no cops. Y'all need, need to be paying, paying the street, street toll. toll. I did not realize that there was a limitation on the street travel here. In fact, I am fairly positive that, that such, such an, an attempt, attempt at collection, collection is, is illegal. Souls having to live in this stinking city that the government don't care nothing about. Pay up. Who shall receive the payment for this transgression? You or all six of you? That depends on how much is on your credit card. Give it up. We don't have credit cards. The Lord provides what we need. Did he gonna need to provide you with some health insurance? Not at um, all. As threatening as that is, that was a little bit of the humor me. that I appreciated. <laughs> there, that rod sound is, uh, again, thanks to Pater for that, because they're supposed to be telescoping rods, and I didn't have any sounds for that, and he did, so. Three for you, three for me? No need. I shall render punishment for their transgression and blasphemy. Wait until they. Oh! Get him, get him! Watch out, watch out! Ah. Yeah, you can't. Oh. Don't look at. I'm... Desino, that's enough. We oh, tender with oh. mercy here. You're not in the so actually, states. For the Probably rods, I used um, an actual metal ro yeah. rod. And. Uh, oh. I think an, a hammer. Now rubber Jeff, handle of a hammer and, and I thought some details like uh, church dusting off his hands and, and opening the picture here and then along with the sand I recorded those sounds of him like dusting his hands off well gloves actually and then punctuating his sentence right there with uh, tapping on the paper let me counsel you with some wisdom if you want people to care about this neighborhood, you need to start caring about it first. Papa Salvation's church is gone. What replaces it is up to you. Now get out of here! It's interesting they can actually run after they just probably had their shins smashed. Or cracked. Let's get back to the car and access the computer. By the way, that's a... Rather it's weird, I just heard like that really creepy laugh in the background there. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually a laugh or not, but it kind of sounded like that. Nice moves. Well, apparently mm. you and I can see the Observer clearly, but no one else can. How is that possible? So now they figured it out. I do not believe it is possible for a human to manage something like that outside And uh, jumping back a bit, um, Lakai says he uses Norg staff, which is a... Uh, Norwegian style of staff fighting. And how can we stop him? If he's not human, maybe there's some kind of heralding before his appearance. Atmospheric, electromagnetic, yes. ectoplasmordial. Another type of... I don't know if that's sci-fi or fantasy, like the heralding before appearance, but scan of the it certainly fits for the CSI, DSI sort of investigation thing. Structural collapses in time-lapse sequence search for anomalies within a 144-hour regression. De novo. Nothing out of the ordinary in that time frame. If we are indeed pursuing a paranormal entity, you are correct that there should be a sign of some kind. But perhaps it is not visual or physical. Mm. Auditory? Maybe sound. Computer, run a full band frequency check for broadcast anomalies within a 144-hour regression. Exclude known broadcastings for commercial, private, and government source locations. Center on the disaster locations indicated in both files. De novo. I guess de novo is new or start again. 
brand new, fresh. I have to look it up, but we have there we it. Go. There is a tremendous spike in both the highest and lowest frequency simultaneously, 24 hours before each church. I wonder what that would sound like a spike Hallelujah. in both the now highest and lowest frequency. Computer, monitor this frequency and alert Agent Lakai and myself of any further recurrences. We still do not have a motive as to why these churches have been targeted. Hmm. Tell me about the churches up there. How would you describe them? Did they serve the spiritual needs so of their bringing large the music here kind of made an otherwise uh, quiet scene a little bit more was bearable. I mean, not that it's unbearable, but it adds interest and emotion. That's what I'm looking for. It adds emotion to the scene. So... It's kind of, you know, it's, it's a mystery, it's kind of, you know, intriguing, the wheels of the mind kind of turning there. Theocracies, that's uh, another new word for Webster's here. did not have a record of any kind of volunteer community service and kept to themselves. Again, I'm not trying to make fun of anyone, it was just, but, uh, I, I did kind of laugh uh, <laughs> several times when I was editing. Uh, I do apologize. It's not, you know, that's the way they talk. And, but, you know, but secretly. You know. <laughs> of a biblical prostitute mistaken to be Mary of Magdalene. Hmm. Do you have any record of property missing? An accurate accounting of the church's property would be very difficult to ascertain. All of those that knew the inventory were inside the churches when they were destroyed. It's the same down here. Are you considering theft as a motive? I'm not sure about anything in this at the moment, but the reasons to target something are revenge, hate, and greed. Getting back at someone or institution, showing displeasure for theological beliefs, taking something of value. What would a church have of value? Gold, silver, Art? Hmm. Art. What about artifacts? There are no religious artifacts displayed in churches anymore. Our modified doctrine on idolatry forbids the display of historical items other than iconic imagery. You're probably right. There aren't any artifacts on display that we know of. But perhaps someone else knows differently. Mm -hmm. Or at least thinks they do. We won't know for sure so again, not not too much going target. on in the scene besides the dialogue and the music, but um, with nothing in common, it faces. I think uh, um, something else I've noticed, especially when I listen to this on uh, man seen at every um, afterward, speaker systems with uh, bass amplification us, or subwoofer, agents. is that. Oh, and really quick, I think it's interesting that computer has the same voice in the cars and the. I didn't expect to get a hit this soon. The, uh, Let's get back up to the diocese. The diocese. Have the chief assign us some backup and get to the location. Ready or some sanctuary pews. Yeah. Anyway, computer has the same voice. Um, so we're starting up the car again. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, one thing I I've noticed listening to it on bigger speakers or systems with a subwoofer is the bass is a little bit painful um and and that's because i kind of had a habit of boosting it it sort of fills out the voices and such but it, it was a little bit much um doing it on all the voices especially especially lakai who you know talks like this and um i think that was too much you know and putting a bass boost on that is a little bit much church. Yeah, it gets to be kind of boomy. With having to call his entire congregation so, and tell them um, the one of the things that attracted to me to the story, I think, was the two action scenes with the. I'm uh, sure, sir. However, we are about to close this case. The, I think better to lose the building than the people. The gang earlier and I did not receive that. Um, the upcoming Nothing, Chief. I'll keep you action form, scene off. finale sort of thing What's that mind, kind of because I like action. So Genesis 1913. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxen great before the face of the Lord. And the so Lord again, another dialogue scene sword. inside of the car. They're waiting, and they're about to go the in. Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. 
and he overthrew those cities in all the plain, in all the inhabitants. So Lachai is comparing what's happening to the churches to what happened in the days of Lot. It sounds very familiar to our case. If the observer is an angel, you could be right. But the Lord refrained from carrying out his judgment until Lot and his family were out of the city. Hopefully we will be given the same grace. Is that why we're the only ones without dampening helmets? Okay, men. It's 9 a.m. Let's move inside. Weapons this is ready a, once we get kind of inside. a rather harsh first um, the walls. radio Binders sound. I, I kind of mixed Binders it with the radio sound only. plus his unprocessed voice. And, um... Go, go, go. I don't know. It's a Binders, little bit harsh, the but it, it works. It gets the idea of radio. So here's the men. And again, I, did, I actually did these uh, men running up myself. So that's me multiplied times uh, several <laughs> I don't remember how many times I did it but it was you know, m might have been four, five or six times maybe seven and I thought they would go from maybe dirt to like marble so I have them on stone, walking on stone here. and of course the very huge door Binders, form around the door Agent Lakai with me, I'll make first contact what do you see? it's him the observer. He seems to be looking for something among the communion service supplies. So they found the observer. Bread. He's placing a small and, um, piece of bread in a jewelry box. You know, like any any good story, any good uh, script here, this is kind of Going like in. the pseudo solution Double scene. Put the box down and place your hands where I can see them. So you're like, okay, do we've got him. Says, do it no. You do not belong here. Do not interfere. You cannot contend with me. Get thee from here now. Visor's down. Angelic Larry coming. He's coming out. Oh! So, kind of what I did on the observe that that flare was actually a, a reverse Does sound and then forward it? again the to kind of bring the up like a reverse well, symbol. And then. Oh, um, it hasn't finished its mission. Of course, I have no reference point for what an angelic flare sounds like, but I thought that was pretty good. As, as good as I can get, you know, without knowing. Angelus Mortalius. I am the angel of mortality. I am not death. Now, I kind of wanted the extra bass on his voice there because he needed to sound like it said his voice changed, so he needed to sound a little bit more and angelic or powerful so I just gave him that actually used a vocoder and processed a sound with with the actor's voice so to make that kind of you know it's kind of a bit low whoosh sound make it talk Ooh. so now the big reveal that Lakai is Loki and Mm -hmm. Flip a couple of letters from Lakai to Lakai, and you almost phonetically get Loki. Valhalla's Loki. Can't he, can't help but you think of Thor when I hear Loki. You just have to hear you your know, own now, name. I don't. But who can't? You know. <laughs> All is vanity. You weren't fooling anyone. I was assigned to uncover but, why you were interested. You know, pseudo in solution. If you don't know what that well is, that's where like everything is just about wrapping up, and then monkey wrench. That's not what it was. Um, everything is not all better yet, and now we have another problem to take care of, so... I will not even need to use in this case, it's Loki. You're no god, Loki. You, Thor, Hercules, Goliath, you're all Nephilim. The half-human children of fallen angels like Zeus and Odin. I, I don't Giants personally subscribe to the, the theory of the Nephilim. Um, I don't there are some people that do, regard, you know... Demon. Uh, we can debate that till doomsday, but it, it, it works in this sci-fi fantasy world, so. It's another thing about the, the style of acting here. It's, it's good, it's pretty threatening sounding, but you kind of want him to be a little bit louder in a scene like this. Or maybe I just put too much volume in the other sounds, but whatever. It... It, it came out alright. Producers were pleased. I think listeners were as well. Okay, so um, Church just got his staff knocked out of his hand. 
And now they're going at it hand to hand. See, I told you this is my favorite. And now he's swinging his staff pointlessly. Not really, just to give it that big momentum there. How can you be so fast? So strong. But if it were visual, I'd probably get some comments about the pointless staff twirling. Who said I was mere mortal? The angel blood the observer detected on me is not from one of the fallen. You asked me about my battle against the squadron of demons. It was a Pyrrhic victory. The Guardian and I were both wounded, but my injuries would have been fatal. I survived because he shared his blood with me. It cost him his guardianship, it weakened him forever. And now I am bloodbound, linked to angel kind. I gain more of your power the longer I'm near you, yeah, including no. what we call another part of this Angel Vok sci-fi fantasy. fantasy. Um, what he just said there was Kamu Veo, which is to shake violently. And um, I guess it, when he said that, um, Loki was shaken violently. So um, it's just like which I didn't quite get that performance, but that's all right. Loki, the fact that you survived seeing the transformation. Of so the guys talking in the background, taking him away, are all me. I decided I, I thought the scene kind of needs something else here. So. Take him away. Sure, man. Now. And then I sort of voice doubled Loki as he was being carried to kind of go, you know, because he's still in pain. So. What's so important about a piece of bread, and what else you've taken? I have been charged with collecting the seven. They were imprisoned in objects hidden among the places of man. But the Most High and Glorious has seen that you are still drawn to them, and willingly corrupted by them. The taint is too great. To this like Part Sodom kind of and gets Gomorrah, you to thinking. the people in places mired by their influences must be leveled. Why couldn't anyone else see you? Only those that can make a change in our mission or are touched by the hand can see us. So an interesting Everyone thing about in those corrupted places saw me. That the fact that only they some people can to repent. And they would have see him and some spared. can't. It's kind of selective they chose to appearance. Ignore my warning. <clears throat> you have interfered in this culling. Do not appear at the next. I'm ashamed you to say I don't know what culling means. This time. I'm going to go look it up after this. <laughs> Do not expect so again. I'll take my chances. Move out, man. The angel has work to do. All right. You're free, and Angelus. Exit. Believe it or not, I made well part of that's is my sound. Part of it is some sci-fi sound effects of collapsing. I thought, you know, if this is the last major collapse thing, it should be epic. So, of course, that means it's a impossibly huge church. But anyway. <coughs> Must have different levels, it's why it explodes so much. Uh, but the angelic screech, it said the angel screeches, so um, I took a very sharp whistle that I learned how to do um, for when you're out in the woods. You know, with friends backpacking, we would call each other with that sort of whistle thing, so I did that, and in in conjunction with the sound the actor made with his voice, it was kind of like... Wait. <coughs> uh, sorry, that's well, that kind of angel go, sir. weak. Who am I to stand in the way of the will of God? They have their jobs pathetic to do by itself, so they added the whistle and everything is good. Report, Homer. So here's kind of the aftermath. To the diocese and into permanent containment. Your ears, sir. You're bleeding. I had to go without a dampening helmet, too, or Loki might have gotten suspicious. A little painful, but I'll be fine. Another perk of being bloodbound. Um... Uh, 
So, if you don't mind my asking, so I thought in addition to having the seven the, deadly sounds. Um, sort of rubble sound. I thought, you know, stuff might actually be on fire after a, you know, when you see earthquakes and stuff like that, there's, um, depending on the situation, stuff can be burning afterwards, so I have, like, falling debris and burning fires and I think, like, some low rumbling fire and then some higher crackling fire to give it that, to give it that pop that, um, Expect with Loki the fire. knew something was up, but didn't know what exactly. If he had found out what they were, or managed to get his hands on one of the seven, ugh. I don't know where the angel plans on hiding them next, but I hope it's far from man. Let's go before we're spotted. So, and then the final scene is just a uh, news report, and for transition this time, I just brought the music levels up, and kind of going back to the theme we began with, with uh, the opening music. Kind of seal, um, close today, another tragedy at the second church in two weekends has collapsed under mysterious circumstances. There were no survivors at Our Holy Mother Church in the Lower Belt. The collapse of Our Bountiful Church of Grace just last Sunday miraculously saw no loss of life at all, as the pastor of that church canceled all activity and services for that weekend. This latest tragedy is the seventh in a string of disasters here on Earth and on the orbital states going back three months. Authorities Still trying to picture what the orbital states look like. Uh, apparently, they float above the Earth at, at this time in in the uh, future. So, yeah. Um, music comes up again. Nice conclusion. It's kind of interesting on those fade outs. You can say pretty much anything, and we'll fade it out. So, um, <laughs> uh, the guy doing the announcer kind of had a little bit of fun with the. The extra um, fade out material. So, okay, now we go to end credits. So, the DSI this was um, this was a Scott, fun project to work on and Ron challenging as well. My uh, computer was overtaxed. Um, yeah, I had to do some really. Uh, um, I don't want to say techie stuff because it's not that. Well, you know, it depends on your perspective. It could be complicated, but just change the for those that care the priority of my die. I had to put to high just to keep it from skipping during playback. I would have to mix down most of the sequences just to hear um, how they sounded naturally. So. Produced by Jerron Dale Belboda and Peter Franson. This audio presentation has been released under a Creative Commons license. So, um, when it was done, it was uh, posted on spiritblade.net slash alliance. And uh, then later to my YouTube channel. So, I want to thank you for joining me for this audio commentary. And um, take care. Um, see you next time. Or hear you. No, you'll hear me. Never mind. <laughs>